Well, 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 look who's here and look who's back. Hold on. All right, make sure that's fixed. Well, 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 while the good happened with Star Wars Theory, the bad happens for another YouTuber and her name is T-Spill. After her, well, I, let me see my intro. This is your boy, Michael's back with another reaction video and we're gonna be talking about a video that Tony Mitchell did and a lot of drama beauty channels did on Manny and Murray. He should be canceled, in my opinion. Well, he sent her a fucking copyright strike. Hmm, interesting. Really? But he didn't do it to everybody else? Well, if you like this video, if you like this video or my past one with Star Wars Theory, click, like, subscribe for more, okay? But this is her video, Manny M.U.A. comes for, for t Spill's career featuring Tony Mitchell. Let's go into, okay? Let's check it out. Once upon a time, there was a slimy snake <laughs> called Manny the Snake. Manny the Snake was very fame hungry. He slithered his way to the top. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Manny didn't care who he had to step on to get to the top, or who he had to use, or who he had to throw under the bus. <laughs> After Manny's scales were exposed, he began to <laughs> slither his way back to the top. And no. he wants revenge. <laughs> Recently, T-Spill, the biggest drama mm -mm -mm. channel for the beauty community, who stays anonymous, uploaded a video critiquing Manny's foundation review along with others. But this made Manny very, very angry. <laughs> It's sad that people gotta do stuff like that. That's that's like disrespectful. You 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 had to go the lowest of low. But imagine if he would did to everyone's channel. Cause I guarantee if he did to everyone's channel, he'll be in trouble. So he only did it to one. I'll tell you my reasons why. So later when it's finished. I'm sure you guys are aware Manny the Snake is back at it again. It didn't take him that long. I'm not really going to be reposting receipts. I've kind of decided that I may not be like a receipt channel. I may just talk about shit that's going on with you guys. So if you're looking for receipts, other channels have done really good videos on the situation. So here's the sum of what's going on. <laughs> so Manny the Snake decided to do a review on the new Morphe foundation that was very confusing and didn't make a lot of sense. In the whole review, he said nothing but shitty things about the foundation and then at the end gave it a positive review. So therefore, a lot of people were very confused about his review. Me too. So T. Spill did a video on the review and pretty much just talked about the controversy involving his review and the controversy involving the whole Morphe Foundation in general and all the different weird reviews that were going around about it. Not only T Spill reported on this, but many other drama channels reported on the same exact situation with Manny and the Foundation. So yeah, keep that in mind. So as you can see here, T Spill's video was posted on the 8th of January this month, so about nine days ago. Then late last night, T Spill received an email saying that Manny MUA had copyright striked her video claiming which is very hypocritical of him to do that you see shade really 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 but i kind of know why he did that we'll talk about it later that her whole entire video intro and all was all his her video is for commentary news and creative purposes therefore it falls under fair use not only just in the u.s but also in canada where t spill is from this was a really stupid move on manny's part because she could fight this and he could get charged with perjury so yes fair use and copyright laws are a thing so for people out there that think like oh you know manny didn't do anything wrong Yes, he is breaking the law technically. This is a thing. There is a thing called fair use laws. So yes, it is against the law what he did. 
So now we're going to get into all the different theories that people have, and I'm going to tell you my opinion. So the first theory people have is that this has something to do with Morphe. Since the Morphe Foundation launched today and T-Spill's video gets taken down mm -hmm. the night before. The next theory people have is that it has something to do with Manny's subscriber count because his subscribers have been dropping. So wow. he might have thought it was due to T-Spill's video. So he striked it and took it down. The next theory people have is that Here for the Tea is somehow involved in this, but T-Spill has spoken to her and cleared that up on Twitter. So those are the main big theories right now. So in my opinion, I think Manny MUA is coming after those who came after him this past summer and possibly wants revenge. There are possible rumors going around that he actually sued another drama channel that talked about him. If this is a revenge thing, in my opinion, he obviously hasn't learned anything from what mm -hmm. happened this summer. If he wants revenge on the people that critiqued him this past summer, that's not learning anything. That's saying, I was right, you guys were wrong, so now I'm coming to get your asses because I want revenge. I just think it's really weird how he like never files copyright strikes on anyone, then all of a sudden, just just does this oh, over a week after T Spill's video was posted. Mm -hmm. It's like, are you just asking to be canceled again, dude? Yes. Because it started people back up. People are riling back up against him, and rightfully so, because that's fucked up. He knows that she is an anonymous channel. If she fights this, she has to give this snake her information. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't fight this and gets another strike, her channel could get taken down. So this is really like a snake dick ass move. And for what? All because you were exposed? Because you were an asshole? Because you were a snake for your own behaviors? Like, really? <laughs> like, obviously, there's been no change whatsoever. Obviously, he still does not see anything that he did wrong. He still thinks he's in the right. And he's just a fucking snake. Like, this is her job. This is her livelihood. She is not the reason that you are canceled. You were the reason <laughs> that you were canceled. And for the people out there that think like, oh, T-Spell drags him all the time. Like funny edits and critiquing mm -hmm. somebody is legal. It is not dragging. I'm sorry to break it to you. Oh, and also just so you know, someone goes out and commits a crime because they commit a crime against somebody else that committed a crime, they still committed a crime, yo. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's still illegal either way. So whether he, you think he was right or wrong, it's still illegal. It's still wrong. It's still against the terms. It's still against the guidelines. Yep. It is illegal to false copyright somebody's video that was in fair use, whether you agree with it or not. Anyways, at this moment, Manny is still disregarding any tweets that are about him, anybody that is adding him. He is blocking people. He is ignoring everything and refuses to take down the copyright strike. Personally, I think T-Spill should fight this. Yes, she's going to have to give him her personal information, but if it gets out, we know who it came from. Oh, and yo, like, I meant to mention this, like, in the beginning. I know most of y'all know me and T-Spill are friends, so call me biased all the fuck you want. I don't really think I'm being that biased. To me, it's just common sense. Like, yo, it's illegal to false copyright someone's video. So whether you agree with it or not, like, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Be respectful, though. And I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah, what he what he did was plain wrong. It, it was definitely disrespectful. And it, it, it she, of course, remember... If she were to fight this, she had to give up her, her information. So here's what I think. This is just me. We know it wasn't all uh, here for the tea because they had their little history from that Jacqueline Hill thing last year. Could have been King Star telling him to do it because even though they're not friends and they're in a little bit different of a situation, but he sees this as like, hmm, if even if Man and Ray loses, he gets her information. I guarantee you, Keemstar would probably pay him on the side and say, listen, if you give me her information, I will pay you this X amount of money and put it on his drama channel and be like, well, let's get into the news and then we all know who she is. That's what I'm thinking. And just like what Tony said, the, the day of his monthly launch came out, hmm, yeah. But he didn't do it the day after it came out. Why didn't he do it? And she and she's a big channel and she's private. And he didn't do it to everyone else, but he did it to her. Hmm. Cause if he did it to everyone else, I guarantee you his channel would be taken down. So he doesn't want to risk losing his channel. So he did it to one person. So even though he loses, he knows he can't do it again. Cause if he does it again, he might end up losing his channel and everybody's gonna laugh him off. So that's it, guys. If you like, click subscribe.
Peace.